It's come to my attention that I've lived here for almost 10 months and I've never given you a room tour. Well today, all that changes. So hold on to your cowboy hat. I'm about to show you the coolest room on campus. Though I might be a bit biased. Now, I'm actually moving out tomorrow morning, which is why it might look a bit empty and why you can clearly see that I'm surrounded by boxes. Anyway, so let's go. Okay, so here's the door and this is what it looks like when you first come in. Obviously, there's a lot of bags because I'm moving tomorrow, but usually here would be my pink bean bag and right here would be my electric scooter. Also here we have a radiator, you just hold that until it comes on. It's really, really sh so I mean, bring your own heater, even though it's not allowed, but we do it anyway. I forgot to mention that you very generously get given a peg, actually two pegs, how very nice. I kept my coat on these for the whole time. It held up, would recommend having a peg. But yeah, this is what it looks like, very cute. We've got a bed, a desk, a chair, but the first thing I want to show you is the bathroom. Hey. Obviously it's different for every uni, but my bathroom is one of these like, ooh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna blur that, I'm not gonna show it. But it is a wet room and not a shower with like a proper thing, you know, like it's got a curtain and not like a door. It kind of sucks, but it's okay. But the shower itself, oh my God. Just like, just look at it. There's like mold on it. Like I didn't do that. What the hell is that? But anyway, you get this cool light up here. You get pegs for your towels. You get a toilet cleaner. You get a thingy for your toilet roll. Obviously it might be different, but it is an ensuite. I get it all by myself. That's a mop bucket and rubbish. Um, ignore that. Ah. Anyway, behind the door is the wardrobe is actually huge there is so much space i never even use these cupboards good storage great job so obviously because i'm moving when you open the wardrobe it is nothing usually there would be clothes in there but very generous of the uni to give me four whole coat hangers thanks guys really 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 nice and generous of you thanks bring your own coat hangers. The next cupboard actually just has all my kitchen stuff in there at the moment. Usually it would be in the kitchen, but obviously I'm moving, so it has to stay there for now because I'm about to pack it away. There's also a bit here that I get my iron in. Is that vodka? There's a bottle of vodka in there. What the hell? Oh, it's empty. Oh, it's empty. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so this is the bed. I'm gonna let past me talk about that for a second. Now, I'm not picky at all and i'd love to tell you that despite the stereotypes the bed is actually quite comfy but no take it from someone who slept on a camping bed for three years of my life buy a mattress protector beds are not supposed to sound like this okay when you get out of them Jesus Christ, what the hell? Also like the whole bed just randomly dips at a certain point, it's so dodgy. I can't say I've ever had a nice sleep on the bed, ever. Let's just say it does the job, but it doesn't do it very well. Obviously, all my friends are here to say bye. This is Shining Stars, Biscuit, Dave, Ant, and Pussy Boy. You also get a cool little light. Imagine you're just in bed chilling and you're like, oh damn, I need some light right now. Wow, how cool. Wow, 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 wow. You can actually hear when the person next to you is licking that light, so it's probably annoying them, but either way. Also, like, this is the view from where you would be in your bed, so it's like, there's actually quite a lot of space. Okay, onto my favorite area of my room. I love this, so I'm gonna take you here for a minute. First, we have my little bulletin board thing. We have a drawing that my best friends made and they put it in a frame for me, so I thought it would only be nice to hang it up. Next up, we have all of my necklaces. There's actually so many. Like, I just don't ever wear them. I always just wear like one. That was actually just a Christmas decoration, but I quite liked how it looked, so I just kept it there. This is one of my favorite things. This is a menu that I actually had at my workplace before I came to uni, but there are so many spelling mistakes that I just actually had to keep it. Look, Pessy Max, Oringal, Coca-Cola. It's just such a mess. 
so I decided to keep it and put it on my board. Also, I bought this hat. I really like it. It's one of those propeller hats. I like it, so I've kept it. And the classic, wait for it. Wow. I feel like everybody has to have fairy lights or LEDs. I feel like depending on who you are as a person, you either have LEDs or fairy lights. I'm a fairy light kind of girl. What can I say? Anyway, anyway, anyway. What I have here is a George Foreman grill. You're not actually allowed things like this in your room, but like, don't tell anyone, okay? This is our little secret. Or maybe do, like I'm moving out tomorrow, I don't even care. Underneath we have drawers. This drawer is an actual mess right now. Oh my God, there's actually pancakes and like multivitamins. It's actually disgusting. But the other ones literally have nothing in because I'm leaving. You get two plugs. I think that's for like ethernet cables and stuff, but I don't have one, so I never used it. Over here, I have the coolest little vintage rocket lolly sign. Amira, do you want to say hi to yourselves? Hey, hi. And this cool lamp that I think was literally just like a fiver from Sainsbury's. It's pink and I like it. Up here, we've got a fake plant. We've got a good luck card. We've got another vintage ice cream sign. We've got this cup that I actually bought when I went to Harry Potter World. A living life on the veg snow globe kind of thing. We've got the Harry Potter books that I've never read. That's a little book of positivity that I clearly don't need. For some reason, I've always got some sort of alcohol on top of the books. Right now it's pink gin, but it's usually apple sours. Down here, I've got my basket of just crap this was the best purchase i've ever made a pink heart shaped alarm clock that i've never actually used so it always says the wrong time but a broken clock still tells the time right twice a day i just butchered that we got some post-its some perfume some skincare a box of more random shit is that a football you got some more drawers don't be fooled that doesn't actually lock i never got a key for that but obviously got nothing in it this one has snacks in and surprise surprise this one also has snacks in you get a cool chair fun fact my friend actually broke hers and then went to a party and swapped her broken one for a not broken one and she never got caught until right now. Also, you get two plugs by the bed. I'm charging my laptop right now, but you can charge your phone and stuff. It's very cool, yay. Under the bed is a lot of storage. You've got my shoes and my boxes and stuff. Obviously, that didn't come with the room. I just wanted to show you that I have a nice gray blanket. I think it goes nice with the room. Also, do you think these curtains are ugly? Some people got blue and some people got like multicolored curtains. But I think they're alright, but someone told me they were ugly. I'm actually filming this at night, but look at the view. Wow, very cool. We've got my cat here and my little pot of makeup. Very nice. This is like a full pan of the room. It's very spacious, very nice. I like it. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Who wouldn't want to hang out with me in the coolest room ever? Apparently everyone. Just kidding. I totally have friends. <laughs> I sound so in denial. What is wrong with me? I do have friends. I do. I do. I do. I do. I so do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. It's actually my last night here and I'm going to spend it packing and tidying. So, oh. I hope the room looks cool. It so looks cool. Um, yeah. Bye. Sure.